So today, what I want to show to you is that if we have this series, where s to the n equals 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus, we'll say dot, 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 right? Plus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1 over 2 to the n. If we have this series, right, and we add them all together, and we continue doing this with fractions that look like this, and we continue to do that up until infinity, right? I want to show to you that that will be equal to 1, right? That means that this is a convergent series, right? A convergent infinite series. So the first thing we should do is let's just write this as summation notation. So we have a little summation notation thing. Right, our lower bound is going to be n equals one. Okay, now well, in this case we're going up to infinity, so our upper bound on the summation notation is going to be infinity. Right, so, and our pattern that we're working with here, right? Well, maybe you already spotted it, but our pattern is one over two to the n. So we're going to say this is one over two to the n. Right, and as I said, what I want to show you is that. This whole thing equals 1. So our first step in proving this is we want to take our original series that we had up here. And what I want to do is multiply both sides by 2. So we can then say that 2s to the n equals, well, 1 over 2 times 2 is 1, right? plus 1 over 4 times 2 is 1 over 2, plus 1 over 8 times 2 is 1 over 4, right? Plus 1 over 8, plus, we're still going to have dot, 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 then plus 1 over, well, this one's a little bit trickier, right? But we can observe what happens to these other fractions, right? And know what happens, what will happen to this exponent here. Well, every single time, when we multiply it by 2, right, we can observe that the exponent is being decreased by 1. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, up here, when it, should, when it was 1 half, we multiplied it by 2, right, and we get 1. Well, if we have 1 over 2 to the 1, like we would have had here, we get 1 half. But if we have 1 over 2 to the 0, we get 1 over 1, which is 1. Up here, if we have... 1 over 2 to the 2, we get 1 fourth. But down here, if we have 1 over 1 over 1 over 2 to the 1, we get 1 half. So we can see each time we are subtracting 1 from the exponent. So just like that up here, we're going to say that this is 2 to the n minus 2 plus 1 over 2 to the n, and then we're subtracting 1, All right? Now, I'm going to put a certain part of this new series, right, in parentheses, and I want you to see if you can spot anything that we could do with it. Put this bit and this bit in parentheses. Does it look familiar at all? Well, hopefully the answer is yes, because this right here is this whole thing, except for one little tiny change. This entire series right here is exactly this series, except this series does not have plus 2 over 1 over 2 to the n, right? So what can we say that this series then equals? Well, we can say that this series equals s to the n, right, M minus 1 over 2 to the n, because it doesn't include that, right? So then we can rewrite this entire thing, right, bring down the 2s to the n, 2s to the n equals, well, we already have that 1, plus s to the n minus 1 over 2 to the n. Well, on both sides here, we can simplify this a little bit further. We can subtract an s, to, not to the n, but an sn on each side, right? So it leaves us this equals 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n. Now, we have this. But what are we trying to do here? Well, we're trying to know what happens as n goes to infinity. So what we can do for of this, right, is we can take a limit. 
and we're going to take a limit as n approaches infinity. So here we can rewrite this as the limit as n approaches infinity, right, of 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n. Now, I suggest that you pull out a calculator, or at least think about what will happen as n gets closer and closer to infinity. Well, as n gets closer and closer to infinity, this one up here will be divided by a larger and larger amount. As something gets divided by a larger and larger amount, it's going to get closer and closer and closer to zero, right? So that means that at this, we'll get closer and closer and closer to zero, right? So we can kind of just forget about that bit. So we can say that the limit as n approaches infinity of this is equal to one. Hopefully, I've now convinced you that if we take this series up here and we add all the terms up until infinity together, that that will equal one. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know if I said anything wrong or if you have anything additional to add. Have a great day.